Hazel McCallion defied convention. Never the typical politician, her impact on Canadian politics was deep. In my opinion, she passed too young. She was 101, but she had the vision of a 20-year-old. Known as Hurricane Hazel, after the storm that hit Ontario in 1954, it became a nickname she lived by. People say, naming you after a disaster? And I said, well, also a hurricane moves things as well. <laughs> McCallion was first elected mayor of Mississauga in 1978. My campaign has been a mayor for the people of Mississauga. Less than a year later, a train derailment threatened the city with toxic chemicals, and she spearheaded what was then the largest evacuation in North American history. Working on she was elected a remarkable 12 times, never seriously opposed. She had this incredible ability to feel the public pulse, to get in front of a parade even before it formed. Over her decades in office, her counsel and support was sought by politicians of all stripes. 99% of the, the time she, she was bang on and she'd give you the reasons why she's giving you the advice. She was comfortable crossing political lines, supporting the Premier's brother Rob during his controversial time as mayor. Good morning, everybody. And in 2015, endorsing then-Liberal leader Justin Trudeau before he won a majority government. She has been such a presence uh, in Mississauga, uh, across Ontario and across Canada for so many years. She will be deeply missed. Her lengthy tenure wasn't without controversy. She was blamed for promoting urban sprawl and accused of conflicts of interest for land deals involving her family. But for most voters, none of it mattered. McCallion was the consummate retail politician, attending thousands of events with no entourage or fanfare, remaining deeply engaged in the civic life of the city she loved right up until her death. So, Jamie, in your years of covering municipal politics, you've interviewed Hazel McCallion, and, and what's it like to, to deal with her face-to-face? -face? I think what was great about dealing with Hazel McCallion was, you know, there was never any doubt what she was thinking. She always told you very straight. Many politicians today, you almost kind of know what they're going to say before you ask the question, but it was never like that with Hazel McCallion, and I think that is really what resonated with Mississauga voters for so many years, Ian. And we're getting some details uh, about her funeral. Yes, Pr Premier Ford said today it was something that the province would very much like to be involved with. He's still consulting with her family, and I'm sure we'll hear some more details about that in the uh, coming days. Okay, Jamie, thank you.